The day had finally arrived. On July 15, 1965, after a 228-day flight, the space probe Mariner 4 reached the realms of Mars and subsequently transmitted the first images of the surface of another planet to Earth. Although the resulting images immediately astonished terrestrial scientists, the truth was, that they covered only 1% of the surface of Mars. In the following decades, as is well known, numerous other Mars missions were to follow, which considerably expanded our knowledge of the red planet. Nevertheless, our famous galactic neighbor still holds countless secrets that remain to be unraveled in current and future projects. And indeed, several highly complex probes are busy right now with the task of taking a closer look at Mars. Foremost among them is NASA's Perseverance rover, which reached the rust-covered surface of Mars on February 18, 2021. In the following video, you can find out which images and findings the land vehicle has been able to transmit to Earth so far. Want to join us on our galactic journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe? Then remember to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell to stay up to date in the future. If you like the content of our videos, feel free to give them a thumbs up. Mars 2020 As part of NASA's Mars 2020 project, the renowned space agency not only put the fifth Mars rover mission into action, but also launched the first helicopter mission on the Red Planet at the same time. In addition to the Perseverance rover, the small Ingenuity helicopter was also set down on the surface of Mars. The Atlas V launch vehicle, which took the equipment to its destination 300 million miles away, left the Earth on July 30, 2020. The landing probe finally touched down in the so-called Yezero Crater on February 18 of this year. The mission is expected to provide further insights into the natural characteristics as well as the past of our galactic neighbor. Perseverance will primarily collect Martian rocks and examine the samples with regard to geological processes, biosignatures, and the geological history of the celestial body. In addition, the climate on Mars will be examined in detail. The search for traces of life is also one of the most important mission objectives. To avoid contamination with terrestrial germs that could falsify a discovery, the rover was mounted in a so-called clean room. The current mission is also in step with a progression towards a future manned Mars flight. Accordingly, Perseverance will also convert carbon dioxide to oxygen during its stay and analyze the results. On April 20, 2021, this endeavor was successfully put into practice for the first time. The MOXIE instrument succeeded in producing 5.4 grams of oxygen from carbon dioxide within one hour. With this amount, an astronaut would have enough breathing air for about 10 minutes. Never before had scientists succeeded in producing oxygen on an alien planet. Another galactic milestone was recorded a day earlier. April 19th was when the Ingenuity helicopter drone took off. During the 39-second flight, the device reached an altitude of about 10 feet. This was the first time a helicopter flew on another planet. Let's now take a closer look at the footage taken so far as part of the Mars 2020 mission. Yezero Crater As mentioned earlier, the Yezero Crater was chosen as the initial landing site. What appears to us today as a desolate, dusty plain was about 4 billion years ago an impressive crater lake. The Martian waters covered a catchment area of about 9,000 square miles, while the actual lake covered an area of 300 square miles. The tributaries, in turn, transported numerous suspended solids to Lake Yezero, and in the course of time, they were deposited in the form of broad plains, or so-called deltas. A meteorite impact is responsible for the existence of the 10-mile-wide Yezero crater. As a result of the collision, phyllosilicates were hurled onto the outer surface of the red planet, which are still visible today. Underneath the planet's surface, temperatures between 200 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit, in turn, created countless clay minerals, a process that was only possible due to the existence of liquid water. Delta Scarp A look at the mosaic photo of the so-called Delta Scarp shows what a former river delta on Mars looks like in detail. Experts are convinced that the 380-foot-wide scarp is a deposit of sediments that were once transported by a river into Lake Yezero. 
Seta. The first picture shows the so-called South Seta region of the Yezero Crater. In detail, this image was taken during the 11th flight of the Ingenuity helicopter. In fact, we can clearly see the shadow of the equipment at the bottom of the image. Just behind the dune field is again the Perseverance rover, visible here as a small bright dot. The land vehicle can be seen even more clearly in the second image, which zooms into the scene captured on film. The first borehole. Seeing this fascinating image, one might think that Perseverance had punched a huge hole in the surface of the red planet with its complex instruments. However, the close-up distorts the true dimensions of the rover's first borehole. In fact, the hole is only a little over an inch in diameter. Watson was responsible for taking the photo. As a subsystem of the Sherlock instrument, Watson is able to document the nature and structure of the borehole and to derive conclusions about deeper areas from the information collected. The image, which was published on August 11, 2021, was incidentally taken during the night. In this way, the shadows cast within the hole were to be kept to a minimum. The necessary illumination was therefore provided by the white LEDs installed in Watson. As already mentioned, the collection of geological samples plays a central role in the current Mars mission. In the course of future missions, the extracted soil material is to be collected and brought back to Earth for even more detailed examination. To make this possible, several rock samples weighing about half an ounce will be sealed in special containers and then stored at a convenient location on the surface of Mars. This will ensure that the collected samples are still accessible in later missions, even if the rover should fail. Rubion The borehole shown in this image has been named Rubion by the scientists responsible. This is a hole in the Martian rock. The smaller depressions were again made by laser pulses from the SuperCam. A total of 30 laser shots were needed in each case to create the depressions, which were arranged in two rows. Raised Ridges This photo taken during Ingenuity's 10th flight shows us once again the geological peculiarities of the Red Planet. These striking ground structures are called raised ridges by scientists. What at first appears to be a collection of numerous raised structures in reality provides an authentic insight into the past of the Red Planet. Comparable structures also exist on our Earth, where we find them mainly in the proximity of deserts. The formations always provide an indication of earlier activities of liquid water, and thus also a potentially habitability in the past. Dune Fields on one of its flights, Ingenuity located a fascinating dune field in the Seta region. In terms of their characteristics, however, Martian dunes are exceedingly different from their terrestrial counterparts. While the dunes on Earth sometimes move several feet within a year, the formations on the Red Planet need hundreds of years to do so. Since the Martian atmosphere is extremely marginal nowadays, and the winds are therefore very weak, it is reasonable to conclude that the dune fields on the Red Planet were formed when its natural protective cover was still much denser. Ingenuity in Use Although joy over Ingenuity's successful flights is great in the ranks of scientists, the use of the helicopter drone serves primarily as a test run for future missions on the Red Planet. In fact, Ingenuity does not have any other equipment besides its cameras. Launching a helicopter on Mars is subject to some natural difficulties. While the lower gravity on the planet makes it easier for the equipment to ascend, the thin atmosphere makes it much more difficult for the rotors to generate lift. To get around this natural obstacle, Ingenuity was equipped with coaxially mounted rotors. This means that the rotor blades, which are arranged one above the other, rotate in opposite directions. Since it takes about eight minutes to transmit control commands from Earth to Mars, navigation and orientation during the flight is autonomous. However, the drone receives the basic control commands and route before it rises above the surface of Mars. SuperCam the so-called SuperCam is composed of four spectrometers capable of analyzing soils and rock samples using laser-induced plasma spectroscopy. This complex instrument can also be used to search for organic compounds in rocks and certain loose materials. In doing so, experts hope to discover biosignatures of microbes on the red planet. We've already presented the visible results of this work in the form of the borehole image, the roughly nine-inch stone 
we see in this image was also eyed by the SuperCam. The laser marks are visible here in the form of small dots. Now it's up to you. Was there a photo that particularly captivated you? We're already looking forward to your comments. Finally, take a look at the other exciting videos on our channel, which we have linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.